You want know the deal, man? It's yours truly, Stewie. J. Nick's Flies got on the radio. You know what I'm talking about, man? Dirty Daily. I'm talking about Trap House Booming. I'm talking about trapping at the Trap House. I got my boy Mooski with me. What's up, my boy? Yo, what's good with it? Got all the freaks going crazy. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing with the track star, man? Tell me about this single, dog. Man, we dropped a single last June, bro. And I'm talking about, like, from the moment we dropped it, bro, just, like, I just watched it climb, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it blew up in Miami, and next thing you know, but we took over the world. So, so who in your who in your life broke your heart? That was like track star. Who, who, what's the name? You so know I can stay saying? away from him. <laughs> I mean, you know. Come on, man. <laughs> who is she? You ain't gotta like, say a name. I mean, like, what, what was going on? Like, like what, what situation? Because we, you know, we always have multiple situations. I think that's why that song kind of resonated with a lot of different dudes yeah, yeah, and yeah. girls. But the girls kind of dancing to it, going crazy. We like, yeah, we talking about you. Yeah, you feel? Me? You know what I'm saying? So how does that make you feel? I mean. First off, I'm just happy the record doing what it's doing. You feel what I'm saying? But it's just, it's dope though. Cause like, I've always seen that. I'm like, you know, you got other artists who make songs, you know, telling stories and stuff. And then the shorties just, they love it. And they, you know what I'm saying? Talking about what they talking about. So I'm like, you feel me? Like, I, I, I just, So it got to be more than a situation with this track star. What actually happened in this relationship? Just so I mean, so, so track star is just, Truth. A, yeah, track star is just about, you know what I'm saying? Being, being in a relationship with a with a female who just run from all the problems, you know what I'm saying? Like she just can't face a problem. And the male, the male is is the the guy in a relationship is you know trying to deal with it, you know, for the sake of the love. You feel what I'm saying? Like off that strength, like hey, I want I want I want this, so I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to fix everything. But the the female, she got a she got a problem with just running from everything in her life. Right. You get what I'm saying? So if it's anything. That's going that that's going to cause her like if if it's anything that got to do with her her dirt you get what I'm saying she can't she can't she can't deal with that she can't handle it, she can't handle that. but, but see it, it be, but it be like crazy that because yeah. I, I, usually typically they always say to men we always run from our problems yeah for sure you know what I'm saying but it's like if you in realization it's like all these women be like I want a good man I want yeah. this person I want somebody to fight for me and so they start <laughs> fighting for them they jet the hell on they get yeah. the hell on so so I mean how do you feel about that like what would you tell some of these women. Uh, I mean, hey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you knew up and coming, man. I mean, a couple man. girls like, Mo, you about to go meet Mooski? Like, yeah, they, they trying to roll with me. I was like, you know, COVID-19, baby. COVID-19. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Put you on the spot, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on with it, man. Nephew, hey. don't play with me, man. Hey. So, so okay, so recently, like, I, I was doing my research on you. You got a different type of bounce in your music. You know what I'm saying? I, and I'm always a fan of R&B. You know what I'm saying? Back in my heyday, I used to do melodic music. So I, I tend to lean towards that way. But Bert. you got a crazy bounce. And then I'm finding out that you're not from Florida. You're originally nah. from Alabama. Yes, sir. So you're my country cousin. Yes, sir. Big 204. Three, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all three, that. Three, three, Alabama. Yeah. What part of Alabama are you from? So, man, I'm from, I'm from a small little town called Up. Okay. It's like I heard there's like four people though. Nah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, bro, it's it's, it's small, small bro, real small, bro. Like that's what all the talented people be at. Yeah, bro, man, we man, we sitting on so much, bro. Like, like my town is so talented, bro. Like everybody call my city, baby Atlanta, bro. Mm. Like that, that's just how we coming, bro. And now wow. we about to we about to put that out though. Definitely salute to them because yeah, you know a, sure. lot of, a lot of a lot of country up. towns be popping though. Because I mean, uh, Ray Sherman is from a country town, like yeah. a small town. Yeah. So yeah. what is it like growing up there? What, what was it like growing up? Oh, uh, I mean. It was like you had a rough childhood. You don't remember? Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> but I, I'm trying. I'm trying to put it in a. You know what I'm saying? So like growing up there, you know, for us in general, it was just like it was a struggle off the rip, bro. Just right. because you know what I'm saying of you know my parents. You know they was always battling health problems, bro. You feel me? So and all that stuff. But uh, you know, it was just it's, in Alabama in general, bro. It's just like. I don't know, bro. It's like it's like we like really one of like the poorest states. Like mm-hmm. it's just it's just everything in Alabama is just like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a struggle. Like, yeah, it's bro. Like, it's like it's it's different, bro. Cause we really don't have a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like we don't have a lot of like stuff to do. You get right. what I'm saying? Like in, in my city, bro. You you know like in high school, bro. We played. We we went to go for football practice and all this stuff. And after that, we like we'll probably go party or something. But bro, the police always shut down everything, bro. Mm-hmm. You, Cause it's not hard to find where we at. Right. Cause where else are we gonna be at? You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was just like, it really, it's not, it's really not a lot to do for kids. It's like a retirement city. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, it's it's more for like the older, the older people to live there. So was like just like growing up was a lot of like getting in trouble and you know what I mean? Just, just I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I was younger, yeah, bro. When I was younger, I used to, you know, I I used to stay in stuff. So, but as I got older, you know what I'm saying? I just 
I wanted, I wanted to, I understood how to play the game. Right. So I wanted to have opportunity to do stuff. So I knew who I could act the fool in front of and who I couldn't. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, I, I kind of just played the game, bro. I kind of, you know, cleaned my face up a little bit. Right. You know, I'm in high school. When I got to high school, I took, started taking school a little bit more serious. You know, and then. Sure. Then, you know, when I got, like, 11th grade, all that went back out the door. So you went back crazy. Yeah, it just started. <laughs> but, <laughs> see, but see, I, I built it up my 9th and 10th grade year so I could do that, though. Right. You get what I'm saying? Okay, I don't know if that makes sense, but I get what you got. I just get where you're going. Yeah, so, like, everybody in the school liked me. Okay, you so get what I'm good. saying? Okay. Yeah, so I was good, bro. Was good. So let me ask you a question. So so what transitioned you from doing music? Because coming from a small town, like I'm hearing this, what did when did you start doing music? Was it in Alabama first? Or was yeah. It, you know what I'm saying? So how was that? Because still what you're saying, like it ain't a lot of resources. You yeah, know what I'm saying? No, so definitely. even like going to get equipment and figuring out, what was your first setup when you were recording? Bro, a phone. Wow. Uh, like I was 13, bro. I was 13. I had I was on a, um, an app called The Booth. Mm. Um, I get on there, I record, like I pick a beat, record it. And then I save that, I save that that recording, and then upload that as my as my beat, and do ad libs and all that stuff. I was doing that when I was like 13, so I had I had a whole song on the phone with ad libs. I lay I was layering stuff. You get what I'm saying? Doubling stuff, everything, bro. See, I admire that because like, that mean that that mean at, at any given moment you could be whatever you want to be in life if you put your mind to it. For sure. On. So what happened after that? Okay, 13, you was doing that. When did you actually start, start, start getting noticed? Like, when did you record in your first big studio? Was it Alabama or was it in Florida? No, nah, so um, my first big studio was North Carolina. Um, I was I was still in the Marine Corps, and I was I used you to go to You went to the Marine Corps, too? Man, you got a lot going on, man. <laughs> what, was he, what the hell? How old are you? <laughs> 23. Yeah. I'm going to be okay. 24 in June. Okay, come on with it. Canada Marine Corps, all right. Yeah, yeah so I was, I was in the Marine Corps, and um, I used to go to this studio out there. Like, that was my first professional studio. Uh, and I started recording there because before then, bro, we was like recording on Fruity Loops, mm. on Fruity Loops with like a little, you know what I'm saying, a little mic or whatever, a little sock on everything, bro. Like, the it was trash, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It was trash, but we loved doing it so much, bro. Right. Like that's how much I love music. That I sit there and try to, you know, get the best, get the best audio out of that. Quality out of nothing. Yeah, Making something out of nothing. Yeah, for sure. The quality was trash, but you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm grateful for those days though, because when I went to the actual studio and I got the better quality, man, it made me a better artist because. Right. You know, uh, the engineer there, he was teaching me some stuff. Like, he was like, he was old, older, older dude, been in the game. He, he said he'd been recording music for 30 years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, put me on game about stuff. But he he was telling me, though, that I was doing a lot of professional stuff and I didn't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I told him it was my first time recording in the studio. He was like, he couldn't even tell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He, like, he said, I was just that Because you get practice with them socks all the time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, so this is what I'm saying. I, first of all, this is an amazing story. And the reason why I'm saying this is because, like, just coming from where you come from, usually black men don't make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. Usually all the, all the odds are against us. For, so for you to be able to focus and zone in and focus on what you want to do in life and to make it to this point and, and just becoming this artist that you going to be. I'm going to say going to be because I heard some of your music, man. You jamming. And this ain't no cap. You know what I mean? If you was terrible, I probably would have been like, Kadifi, I'm cool. I ain't gonna do the interview. Right. You know what I'm saying? But your music is jamming and you I got a different it, bounce to it. Like what genre would you put your music in? Uh and we were talking about this early too. I don't know, man. They, they gotta make a they gotta make a musky genre or something. Mm. Cause it's just I don't know. I don't I don't wanna say R and B and I don't wanna say rap. I don't wanna say blues. I don't want you know what I'm saying? Because you be but, having five different tones in your song. Yeah, bro. I'm trying to man, I'm trying to come in and put all dramas on one track. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give some, them something different, bro. They're like that I only I feel like I can do. So when was this idea you say I'm gonna make my song sound like a choir? I'm about to have this high note right here. I'm gonna go low. I'm gonna rap a little bit. I'm gonna sing some more. Like like who does that? Like 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 how did you come up with that? Was it what's your recording process? Is it was you just playing the studio? Okay, to sound good or what? Cause I've been around a lot of big dogs that record. You know right. what I'm saying? Like from Future to Thug. So everybody got their own. Goats. But it's like even with that, it's like bro, you don't you got a different singing style in there right. too. A different sound the way you record music where you laying down your track so how, how's that process well how did you figure that out uh i ain't gonna lie bro like listening to art like i, I grew up when i was young and stuff like i was like like big fans uh you know fetty wap mm. pnb rock you feel what i'm saying this is crazy michael I'm getting jackson old. i'm getting old you said p pnb rock and fetty wap them my little brothers yeah yeah yeah. Okay, come on with who else go uh, back to michael jackson okay I'm, I'm with michael michael jackson drake r kelly like if I, like all them right there are my biggest like that's like those those are my um you know like biggest influences right there. Go to like um I used to listen to them and like when I'm singing Thug too I can't leave out Thug matter of fact when I'm singing that music bro I'm singing it like I'm singing it 
but I'm cr- like it's like I was doing it in a different way, mm. and I was like, dang, like that kind of sound hard. So I learned how to play with my voice by listening to their music and singing their music. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So once I figured out how to play with my voice, bro, I just ran with it. I ran with that sound. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like that's not that's not my natural singing voice. Right. It's just my sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I just found that. And I, I'm glad I did. So I'm listening to the records that you have. You don't really even have a lot of music out there that's sitting out there. This is your nah. first, one of your first songs. I was trying yeah. to look for more music. Like, let me see if this kid really got it. Yeah. About four or five songs out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where the rest of it is? Man, we sitting on it, man. What happened, man? Did you did everybody say, man, pull it because it's too good? Pull it off, pull it off, pull it off. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I when I dropped track star, bro, like when I saw what it was doing, bro. You let up. You like, like I ain't but I'm, I'm gonna focus on this. Yeah, thing. I was like, I'm I'm gonna just sit back. Like I started working on the project. But it's like something it just wouldn't let me drop, bro. Mm. You get like something was not letting me drop. Like it just wasn't time. And now, now we see why. You get what I'm saying? Like God had all this lined up. You know, we, we all, all this happened. Um, now I'm about to finish the project. You know. Now, I'm gonna tell you this. You you about one of the first young cats since since baby that I wanted to hear their debut project. Right. I'm gonna keep it funk with you. I just want to hear what it sound like. Cause right. I'm thinking like if you got tracks to ride and this sounds that good, then I hear you featured. You know what I'm saying? Songs with your homeboys. I'm like yeah. these, these these young cats jamming, man. Right. They, they, they got Appreciate something different. It. They got a different sound going on. So what, what what can we look for for this new project? Uh, man, just me, real music, man. Real music that like, you know, like it's just you know, real music that's gonna touch you, make make you feel it. Is it just the gang on there, or, or you got some features on there too? Oh uh, no, nah, it's just me. See, I'm ready for that. It's just me. I'm ready for that. It's just me. So, or do you feel nervous about it? Do you no. feel any any type of? Uh, so the on, the only pressure I feel is from myself, bro. You mm. know what I'm saying? Just. I feel pressure not to rush it. I feel pressure to perfect it. You get what I'm saying? I feel I feel pressure to get better every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I can't let nothing slip through the cracks on this. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, this has to be perfect or, or closest thing to perfect. You get what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to give them, I want to give them the real music, but I want to give it to them in the realest way, right. raw and uncut. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to speak on, on, on the stuff that nobody really talking about. Right. Like, that everybody feel like they're too hard to talk about because I I'm, I bring everybody in. You feel what I'm saying? Like I feel like that's music though. I feel like yeah. that's what a lot of people lack. They lack yeah. that, just that whole. The music is supposed to be it's supposed to make you feel a certain type of way, change exactly. your life, change your mood. You know what I'm saying? So if you doing music, music, you gonna win anyway. Exactly. So let me ask you a question: Where your drive come from? Like, what's your family life like? You got kids? You just doing nah. things like? Man, like so, my daddy died when I was 18. And my I mama, lost my sister, so I know how that feels. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. So, so um, I'm sorry for loss, by the way. I'm sure you too. But my mom, uh, she had two strokes. You feel what I'm saying? So two massive strokes. So like, um, she can't talk, walk, nothing. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So, and it's been like since I was like 18. Well, so when I was 18, my mama could still talk and stuff. But she had the other one when I, when I was uh 20. I was 20. Mm. I was 20. Well, I'm 21, I think. But. That's mainly where, bro. Then I got a little brother, mm. I got a little sister, and I got an older sister. Mm. But you know, like I've always been like the man of the house. My daddy always been sick my whole life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I do it for them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, man, that's just always been what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm a, I'm a work. Everybody know that about me. And one thing about me, I'm a work. I'm a work. Gonna but be- I'm a work to make everything easier around the people around me. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm all like I, I, I'll go hard. I'll work harder, two times harder, just to make everybody else's life easier right here. You get what I'm saying? Because it's just like they can't help. Right. My little brother and little sister can't help that this happen. It's right. just life. You right. get what I'm saying? And I know how it affected me, so I know it affected them even worse. Cause my right. little brother was 15. Right. You feel what I'm saying? My little sister was she still in high school and she mm. got to take care of my mama and go to school. She mm. struggling with that. You know what I'm saying? My little brother growing up with it without without his father. You feel me? At I feel like that's the most important age right there. Like, that 16, 17, 18, like... I mean, it's, that's like, a blessing, though. That, yeah. that you just got to step it up like you've been doing. So, for I sure. think I salute to you. For that's sure. That's a hell of a story, it. man. Yes, sir. God going to bless you, brother. You, you going to hey, be all right. What's crazy about it, bro? I mean, like, it started with this song, bro. Like, like I told you, bro, this this made my life do a whole, like, 360, bro. Mm. You feel me? One like, song. One song, bro. One you remember, song. You remember the day you recorded it? Yes, sir. Who's in the studio? Me, Stunner, and Guala. That's it. Yeah. And what they were well, saying? Well, matter of fact, it was me and Stunner. And then when I when I brought it back and re-recorded it, Guala was enough. What did they say when you when you heard it? It's a hit. They said drop it. Off oh, real. They said drop it. I said I was like, nah, bro. I don't like it, bro. Mm. I was like, nah, I don't like it, bro. And you dropped it. It was it was game. I over. dropped it. and It was game over, bro. Like they saw it first, bro. Stunner and Guala, man. Shout out Stunner and Guala, bro. You already know what's going on. But they saw it first, bro. They saw it first. You feel what I'm saying? 
That's, that's crazy, crazy King. Well, you got a hell of a story, man. I appreciate you sitting down and talking to me. I man, can't wait. Yeah, I appreciate you, know, you bro. The album, you know what it's gonna call it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna call him a lot of therapy for the broken. Mm. Okay, now we're going to church on that thing, huh? Yeah, yeah bro. I'm just, I mean, I just wanna pass the mooski. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you I just wanna, bro. I feel like, cause this the whole thing, bro. I feel like people, people go through a lot of stuff in life, bro, and they don't talk about it, bro. And so it destroyed this right here. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Once, once something take over your mental, bro. Man, that, that could that could change your whole yo like that could change who you are as a person. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, cause when I was going through what I was going through, like all, all that stuff with my, with my pops and all that. Cause my daddy died when I was in boot camp, mm. so I had to go. I had, I left boot camp and went went back home. And my mama already had a first stroke. She couldn't walk, mm. but she could still talk. And but every time she saw me, like you know what I'm saying for that that little time period I was home, man, like she was crying, bro. I left my daddy and stuff, bro. Mm. She couldn't talk to me for real. Wow. You feel me? So, um, I'm dealing with all that, but I don't know how to. You feel me? Cause I'm in the Marine Corps and they drilling, they drilling yeah. all this crazy stuff into my head. You feel brainwashing me, right? And making me emotionally numb, bro. Right. Like that's I was emotionally numb. So when I went home, my mama started crying, but made me uncomfortable. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I ain't know what to do. Right. I ain't, I ain't know how to feel about it. So I didn't grieve none any of that until um like two like two years, two or three years later, mm. and that was with music. So I understood, I understood how. Holding that in couldn't affect your life, bro, because it, it changed me. You hear what I'm mm -hmm. saying? My mental, my mental health was not, it was not good, bro. You I, feel I think that's a lot of things that we go around, especially as black men, young yeah. black men. We don't speak to each other and talk to each other. Exactly. We don't talk about certain that. things you can go through that you're going through in life that I haven't been through already. You exactly. Know what I'm just being out here and just that little bit of knowledge, but we be too proper sometimes. Whether exactly, it's on, on bro. A big, big, on, on a big homie side, and then you got your little homies that be like, man, I know everything already. Yeah. Got, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely salute you to even be able to speak and, and talk about this situation because that's Earth. serious mental health is, is a serious situation. Man, it's serious, serious, and A lot serious, of bro. young people are going through that and don't know how to deal with it. Exactly, bro. And what's sad about it, bro? Is that some people, like that that road can like drive people down, all the way down to a dead end. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And you know some people some people lose their life over that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and it can be it it can be handled, man. You know, like that's that's just all I want to do with this music, bro. You don't gotta talk about your you don't gotta talk about what you're going through. Mm. Vent through my music. You get what I'm saying? Vent through my music, and I hope it gives you some type of release. Cause once I wrote that song and I grieved that night about about my pops and everything that happened in my life, bro, I woke up and I felt amazing, bro. Mm. Like for real, bro. I woke up and I don't know, like it just felt different, bro. Like like you know how you just feel good, bro. Like you walk right. outside, it's like the sun hitting different or something, bro. Like it, everything brighter outside. You feel me? Like you just feel good, bro. You feel me? Like your spirit just feel good. Right. That's how I felt when I woke up the next day. You feel what I'm saying? Woke up, I was I was in the Marine Corps still. Mm. Woke up the next day, bro, with the work. You feel me, man? I was to breathe again, like happy, bro. Your chest. Happy, like truly happy though. Like at work, I normally, you know, everything I'm dealing with, bro. I never took that to work, bro, because my Marines are important to me. Like that leadership role, I took that serious. Right. You get what I'm saying? So my, I, I ain't putting my, I ain't putting my problems on nobody else, on nobody else's plate. You feel yeah. me? So nobody knew. It's different positions in life that you have like that. Like yeah. even, even being on radio, it's like I don't to give a damn about how I feel. Exactly. Like everybody was like, "We glad you. You've been gone for a long time, but we yeah. glad you back." <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. saying? Condolences. But I still got to deal with that every day with my exactly. sister. Exactly. And I think about it. And I attempt to call her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These days, do you still have days like that? Like you still like? Man, I like. I just like when when every time I every time I I complete a milestone or something good happen. Man, it really, it really, it really hit me bad though. When like when my daddy died though, when I was in boot camp, mm. cause that was the main person I wanted to see. Mm. I, I wanted to see when I when I graduated, had my dress blues on. You feel what I'm saying? That was the first person I wanted to see. My mama didn't even want me to go in though, mm. so I had to wait till I turned 18 to even sign the paper. I signed the paper on my birthday. Wow. You feel me? She didn't want me to go in though, but my daddy was the first person I wanted to see. So anytime, anytime I I do something good, man, I just wonder. You know what I'm saying? Like. What, what down my on daddy say? You feel me? He's smiling like, down on you. He probably wasn't sure. there helping you make that song, what? For sure. He's like, man, right about that. <laughs> you hear me? I'm telling you. So, King, sure. definitely a pleasure to meet you, bro. Hey, bro. I'm definitely a fan of you. Salute to you, King. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and, I appreciate and it. Make sure you make sure you take care of yourself, cause I don't want to be in sure. no situation where you start getting all the money and then be like, <laughs> Stewie, I'm going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't break down on me now. No, nah, bro. You got to be one of the king in the industry, kid. Yes, sir. For sure. Salute to you, man. Moose, y'all. Appreciate you, bro. Big Stew is going down. You did. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs>